Welcome to episode 6 of our Hattrick Manager series. Today we will be going through our latest matches and looking into our youth plan. We sell one of our biggest players. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content from Hattrick, Football Manager and FIFA, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. Let's go to my office. Nine news. Unlocked some achievements. Did I unlock? You unlocked rank three of the achievement. Entry denied and scoring out of bounds. Oh, all time goals by your team in official matches 100. What was that one? Out of bounds. Level four, wasn't it? A long way to go. Long way to go. Okay, back to office. We've sold a player. I think I put him for 2.9. He didn't sell. And then I put him for 2.8. And he's obviously sold for that now. That's good considering we brought him for 3,333 and we sold him for 2.8 million. His wage was just getting too big for me considering I want to expand, do my training cycle, which we're going to look at today. Sad to see him go, but I'm hoping it doesn't impact my team too much. He just outgrew my team. And let's have a look inside our accounts. And we've got 4.6 million probably the most I've had. So we need to invest that 4.6 million elsewhere, revamping our youth team. Right, talking about youth team, I'm going to just crack on with this first. I'm going to do youth pools last, but I'm just going to get them done. So who we got? So we definitely know he's a solid winger. He can be promoted now. 1791. See if I can make any coinage from him. Or we could use him. Solid winger. Let's promote him. So yeah, so he's a solid winger. Uh, transfer compare? Nothing really. Could we use him? 17 years old. We'll hold on to him for a minute. We're looking at buying some youth and he's a solid already. 17 years old. Could be used to us. If we go back to our youth team, let's do our youth pool. 16 port adequate. No, looking for 15 weak port pool. No, 16 disastrous. Been awful lately. All right, let's set up some matches. Oh, we've been losing been losing the last couple of games okay so our confidence is good our team spirit is above the uh, standard composed matches how are we doing wow we beat helix Gunners 5-0 i was shocked that we beat them here i think guys we're gonna get top four forgot to do a friendly there busy 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 unless if it, their manager's just given up maybe he's gonna turn into a bot team Normally the games I get that I'm dominating, getting more chances, and I am for one who loses. So it's actually quite nice to see it on my foot for once. I got for luck. Got a man sent off in for 88 minutes. I don't think that had too much bearing on it. He did get an injury, which pushed, it, pushed him to change to 251. Again, maybe that had the impact that 251 just wasn't going to cut it against my team. And then we 5 0. We get a man sent off. Ah, oh, there you go. So we'll go by, that's why I was going to say. Um, I'll read it from the screen. Uh, for visitors, weren't able to produce at least nine players, which is the minimum amount required. So they had to concede a walkover. Spectators who had been looking forward to an exciting match were very disappointed. They all got their money there, I guess. Yep, match day kids have still got, took 200 grand from that game. Oh, yeah, I think probably me being in 1 0, he went, nah, done. Done with this game. But you know what? I don't care because. That could now push us into the top four. And that was our aim this season, is to get into the top four. Okay, cool. Wow, look how tight that is. We're only three points away from top. What's happening here? I right, just updated my spreadsheets. And this is what we got. This is my team at the moment. We look at lineup. So this is our formation we play in our A and B teams. So on that note, I think what I need to do, first thing I need to do is change these guys' numbers. And they need to all be promoted up. So then we have that consistency of these going into that role. Right, so we know who our core players are going to be. So let's whack them in to so pretty much all of there, right? I haven't thought about my B. So we're doing core training on all these, apart from these two. These but B teams also get 100%. And then we've got David Fark, who's going to jump in. So now that kind of outlines of what we require. One season and two season, they're just going to get defending and passing training and then sell them. And then when we move into our playmaking, we're going to buy a couple of proper wingers 
to go into there into our team four wingers um doesn't matter if they can be really old uh, as long as they get for match stars then we need to fulfill the spots that is the plan going up until the end of the season needs to buy two in in a wing players i'm actually gonna whack in where's that youngster because he's got seven winger yeah uh he, he's just not gonna be good enough gonna sell him so that's pretty much what i'm gonna do with my new youth plan at end of this season we will buy four new youth intakes with the intention of just keeping them for a couple of seasons and then we're gonna go court on for wingers could say it's a wasted bit of training okay but this is kind of a plan of what I want to do with my youth players. It will start from next season. Let's first see if we can get to fourth in division. As you can see, the league is very tight. If you don't want to miss any future videos, then you know what you need to do. Press that subscribe button.